from Michigan.com, talking to Connell Alpert from uh, Chelsea, who uh, went out here today. It looked like a pretty amazing time in these conditions. Yeah, I sort of just went through the mile and took it from there. And I felt good, so, so I just let's keep going. So you by yourself after that then? Yeah, from like a K in, I made a surge. And from there on, I just kept trying to pick up the pace even more and more. Was that That's the plan going into the day? Uh, the plan was to wait a little longer, but uh, the pace slowed down right around the KM. And I said, well, let's just go from there because I want to keep the pace high for this race. And how was it feeling with the wind out there today? That last point one, it felt like you're stuck in mud. It was just, you could not get any speed going and the legs could not keep turning. It was just really slow right there. Well, did you think you had a performance like that in you to set the junior course record here? I think, I knew I had a great performance today. I had a really, really good workout on Wednesday, and I knew there was a chance of a good performance, but I didn't know with the wind what it would be like. It was just, I had to see it today. What was your game plan coming in, and could you stick to it with the conditions when they were? My game plan originally was anywhere from four, a 1K in to a mile, I'd throw a surge in and see who could go with me. And today with the wind, it cut off right after a K. So I threw a surge in there to try and catch people off guard. And I happened to get a gap, so I went from there. Nice. It looked like coming out of the start, everybody just wanted to like draft off each other. Yeah. You know, for that first little part there. It was crazy because I got stuck without a draft for the first 100 meters and you felt a difference. It was, you could not move. It's a like to accomplish this. It's been your goal all year, and uh, you know to, to pull it off on the on the day. It feels amazing. I can't really. I still can't really believe it happened. I do like my performances. It could be a shot, but not the regionals. It was all open. It could have been anyone. We had a super fast regionals, and I knew there was crazy fast people in the regionals. So it was still up for grabs in my mind. How have you done here in the past? Do you feel like you prepared to for today? Uh, we, it's, it feels like there's always a win like that in the last 100 meters from last year. Where I got fourth and got out kicked. So I, my game plan for this year was don't be in the final straight with anyone. So I can't be out kicked. Going to competition you were up against today, and you know how you said it was wide open. How did you like your chances coming in? I feel like with my game plan, if it with the plan, I really like my chances because I feel like I have a stronger. I don't have to sprint other people out, but I feel like my 4, 4K is really strong. So I knew if I could get a gap with that, I could hold on. Congratulations! Thank you. How have been a goal of yours to win a state championship? Uh, well, in 2017, Chelsea won the team title, and that was my first state meet. And from there on out, I saw one of our runners get fifth, and I started thinking, you know, I want to be a state champion someday. So from there, it's always been a goal of. So you came there as a spectator. Yeah. How, how much does it help in, in your league? I know uh, there's been some really good runners and teams over the last couple of years. How much does it help to have that competition on a regular basis? I think last year with I had Caleb Jarma in almost every race I ran, and that really helped because I learned some stuff that he did, and I knew that I could go off of what he did. And he was just such a strong runner that I sort of used him as a model of, hey, I'm going to train so I can do that too. What, what year are you? I'm a junior right now. Okay. So you got another year to come back and defend this title. I'm going to try and make it two times. <laughs> All right. Well, great job out here in these conditions. So uh, great to interview you. Thanks. Thank you.